Hello and welcome everyone. This is your friend Malanga. Today I'm going to show how to install a Blackboard without any errors. Okay. Uh, first of all, let's come in our business. Uh, let me uh, let me explain with the Blackboard too. Okay. Um, you know, uh, Blackboard too. Uh, Blackboard too is a periodization testing Linux distribution, uh, which is specially designed for training secondary students. Okay. Um, uh, as you know, it is uh, especially used for um, you know training the students. Uh, we are learning the pre-addition testing, okay. Um, generally, uh, at the present, uh, it's official version 0 0.3 is based on Ubuntu 10.10, okay. Uh, as you know, if you know how to use the Ubuntu and how to install it, then you can easily understand its processes, um, you know, how to install it, okay. Um, it has a KDE environment, desktop environment, and Ubuntu is currently based on, uh, sorry, Blackboard 2 is currently based on Ubuntu 10.10, but in future, when it's uh, another version released, it may be based on Ubuntu higher version. Um, at the at the present, uh, the latest version of Ubuntu is 18.04. So uh, maybe developer uh, will make um, new version of Blackboard 2 according to 18.04 in future. Okay, uh, let us come in our business. Um, uh, first of all, to boot your PC uh, with a bootable USB drive, um, you have. You, you should have one um, USB drive, I mean pen drive, one ISO file of Blackbone 2 and a software which is used for, you know, um, creating bootable USB drive, I mean making your pen drive bootable, okay. Uh, first of all, to boot your computer with Blackbone 2, we have to download ISO file of Blackbone 2, okay. Uh, let's, you know, uh, download it first. Uh, uh, let me say a little bit about that. Uh, if you uh, like my video and it, if my suggestions are worthy for it, then you can subscribe right here right now. Um, the subscriber button, subscribe subscription button is just below the video. Okay, you can see there. So uh, let us come in our business and download the ISO file of Blackboard 2. Okay, let me download that. Download. Download Blackboard 2. Okay, I'll give this link in the description how to download it. I'm just showing you right now. Okay, there is a first link called um, download blackbone to sourcefirst.net. Okay, I'll this I'll give this link in the description. Not to worry about it. You can easily download from here. It is very accessible. Okay, I'll give this link in the description. So not to worry about it uh, for now. Okay, after downloading this, um, just close this and you have to download a uh, universal USB drive or Rufus to make your uh, USB drive bootable. Okay. Uh, let us start okay right here i'll leave this link in the description to download this universal USB drive i'll show you how to use it also um after completing or after downloading this okay uh, since after you have downloaded just close this and you have to go to the file where you have created the as file of blackboard 2 and as you call universal USB drive okay i am heading to rc okay i can Go to that one. Okay, first of all. Okay, here it is. Universal USB installer. Okay. First of all, open that. After that, go for I agree and choose the operating system. We are uh, going to um, make a USB, a bootable USB drive of Blackboard. So let me choose Blackboard here and browse that. Um, okay, you have to browse where you have kept. Okay, I am browsing it right here. And choose your drive and just go for format. Um, it is very simple if you know it. Okay, just go fast. Okay, um, it will take uh, nearly up to five minutes or six minutes, I think. So until that, you have to keep a passage. Okay, okay, five minutes. You can see your four minutes, five minutes. It will take not more than that. Okay, um, until that, uh, let me say a little bit about uh, Blackboard 2 again. Let me come in that uh, subject. You know, Blackboard 2 um, is, um, you know, KDE uh, desktop environment. Um, it is mostly used by the students who are learning with pen test testing. And um, in the future, uh, in the near future, that uh, Blackboard 2 uh, version, a new, I think new version is also going to be released. For now, we are using 0.3, uh, which was actually developed on uh, 2011, 2011. Uh, since then, its developer are not uh, giving the further about update about the blackboard okay uh, let's wait and have patience until that uh, i have already told you if you like my uh, you know video uh, you can subscribe my channel right now okay uh, let us wait until that um okay let's wait 
okay once it is completed um, you can go and check uh, here uh, okay you can find your color bone to file and something like that we have just created by using a USB sorry by using a universal USB installer okay after that if you want to uh, make a new partition uh, to install the uh, black Ubuntu and then you can simply go here and go for uh, go for manage okay you can find their option it will load it after uh, some minutes okay let's wait until that okay it is loaded now and go for disk management if you have allocated it is spaced in for now uh, you don't need to okay uh, create a partition um, I'm going to install in this partition so I'm not going to delete or uh, do something else because I'm going to format it you know uh, at the time when I'm installing black Ubuntu. so uh, for now I'm waiting okay um, I'm just what uh, I'm just leaving it whatever it is uh, you can create a new partition for it uh, I don't have any allocated space so I'm not uh, doing anything okay uh, let's leave about it and at first now let's uh, restart uh, you know PC so uh, let us restart okay after restarting PC done your boot setup key and you can find your boot menu okay I'm choosing my USB drive right here okay I can find here okay and after that choose your USB drive okay I'm choosing mine okay right here I can find this one um, you know many different options but I'm going to choose the first option okay first okay let me choose this option at first okay it may take a little bit time to load so let's wait until that time and have patience okay now black bone 2 is loading so we should wait until that time until the black bone 2 is successfully loaded okay uh, let's wait until that time okay we can find the option uh, two option here when the black bone 2 is successfully loaded um, just go for a second option try to go for this option and um, click on it double click we'll go for graphical mode so it it will take a little bit time so let's wait until that time okay now installation uh, process is just now started so let's go for um, you know for what okay after choosing the language choose your language and just let's go for this last option install third party software let's not go for other because uh, it will take a little bit time and it will uh, just make our installation process a little bit long so let's go for for what for now okay right here after that we should wait a little bit more okay don't choose anything at first just uh, read it and go for this last option because we are going to dual boot um, okay we are going to dual boot and install in the partition where we want so let's go for um, you know um, last option uh, specify partition manually okay let's go for forward you know partition will be loaded okay we can see this partition here now we are going to install um, you know here this last partition so what I'm going to do I'm going for change and making it as a this one exe2 file system and I'm going for format partition and I'm going to uh, select this mount point this last one okay after that I'm going for okay and again I'm going um, to uh, make a uh, yeah, bootloader I'm going for this last one um, okay and I'm going for now uh, to install it uh, because I'm going to uh, make this a uh, loader as a you know main loader uh, so I'm going to choose this first one uh, my hard disk whole hard disk uh, for this bootloader and I'm going for install now uh, if you if you have ever installed the Ubuntu then you can easily install um, if you want to create a software then you can create but uh, 
for in our case we are we should not create a swipe error because it may take a little bit time so uh, let's do uh, a without uh, creating a swipe area so let's go to continue okay let us choose our time right here so oh, my time can be set here so I'm going to choose the UK London time win which mean time so then I'm going to forward uh, choose your reason whatever you have so I'm going forward okay choose your keyboard layout okay now what you have to do you have to change your name um, choose the name okay I'm going to choose my name so put a password uh, which you can remember easily sorry I'm going to choose my password now okay let me choose my password okay let me confirm it okay uh, just choose on this end uh, don't choose anything here because we need uh, we should uh, keep our privacy so let's uh, go for this one once only don't choose anything here just go for forward okay now it will be start the installation process will be started here uh, it will take up to 5 to 10 minutes so you should wait until that time so let's have patience and wait until that uh, the Ubuntu is successful sorry black Ubuntu is successfully installed so let's wait okay when the installation is completed when you see this option here installation has finished you can continue testing uh, black bone too or you can restart okay uh, I recommended you to restart your PC because um, there may have a little bit problem or there uh, there may be some bugs so let us restart our PC so after restarting your PC you will see that double with option and you can easily access to both Mac uh, sorry Microsoft Windows 10 or uh, black Ubuntu. so uh, at last thank you for watching uh, I'll make this video if you like and subscribe my channel um, if you subscribe my channel then I'll get some cards to make such video again again so uh, thank you for watching uh, have a nice day uh, Jenepal